In Terminal 4, check-ins underway for the night flight to Sydney. But John Cull of Qantas has heard rumours of uninvited passengers on board. I honestly can't believe that there are bees in the cabin of the aircraft, but they're in the first class cabin, so probably exclusive bees or frequent flyers or something. John needs to start boarding his legitimate passengers in the next 10 minutes. How are you, all right? Have, you had, have there been engineers on the aircraft? We've had a report of this bee buzzing. buzzing. Yeah. Oh, you're right down there, chaps. Any, nothing we should worry about, is it? Uh, Yes, we've got a few problems. Oh, what sort of things? Uh, well, I'll talk to my colleague down here. OK. All right, who's yeah. down there? Should I be really worrying yeah. about, about the departure time? Roger, shall I hang on for the boarding for a while? Well, we're getting nowhere at the moment. Oh, OK, all right. Just make sure no one falls down that hole. No. Well, the buzzing seems to have gone away. We've got yes. something else now. You've heard about our... Um... Oh, no, I haven't yet, but I'm Oh, OK. To... Uh, we'll Tracking down. down the buzzing sound is proving troublesome. I've just got a feeling yeah. that this is going to be one of those oh, delays no. which is going to turn okay. rather sour. <laughs> the gate staff were all ready to start boarding, but now there's no news on when. Well, there's not much we can do, is there? All right, I'll keep you posted. We're we might know something in 10 yeah. minutes. Well, yeah. Mm. As the plane has a technical delay, John needs to keep passengers informed. We'll make another announcement quite soon, but sorry to have kept you waiting. I'd rather you make the aeroplane safe well, for us. Well, of than, course. You know. Oh, yes. Oh, no, we won't. Of course, that's our first... <laughs> Much rather. That's our first consideration, What's but we're hopeful we'll be able to depart tonight. Where is anybody that knows anything around here? Are they still... Any news down there? Uh, the engineers still have not pinpointed the fault. OK. They're still working on tracing through the fault processes. Right, OK. So if we can pinpoint it, we can give you a time. All right. We yeah, of course. OK. The delay is frustrating for everyone. For some, the wait is more luxurious than for others. The passengers are unaware of the drama behind the scenes but some are beginning to get anxious. I did have three hours to spare in, Sig right. in, in Sydney. OK. Now, that's obviously got down to sure. less than an yeah. hour now. Yeah. So what happens? Uh, well, we will get... Staff will meet you in Sydney when you get there. There are right? a number of Qantas flights go from Sydney there to... There are. I don't, I don't know what they are at the moment, no. but our staff in Sydney, as soon as this aircraft is leave, leaves... Yeah. It's now four hours since the passengers first arrived at the airport. The engineers on board are no nearer to finding the fault. John needs to prepare for the worst. There are strict rules about the number and type of aircraft that can take off after 11.30 p.m. The engineers haven't said a definite no. They're all going through wiring diagrams and things. Um, the thing that's concerning me now, Rob, is if we um, take everybody off the aircraft and hotel them, we've got a bit of a problem with hotel rooms as well, because apparently everywhere in London's full, we can possibly get 100 hotel rooms here at the Hilton at the air... OK. Um, the ops manager has given us permission to depart after 11.30, so that's not a problem. OK, that's fine. Well, let me know, and then I'll speak to the yeah, okay. upstairs. And I'll let you know in a couple done. of minutes. News at last. We know what it is now. They've gone to, oh, okay. uh, gone to get a spare. But it looks fairly straightforward to change it's when we get the bit. Oh, OK. With the problem located and a part sent for, it looks like they'll be flying after all. We're just hopeful we might have solved the problem, right. so... Um, Keeping our thing. I'm sure it's much better that you go rather than. Yeah, yeah. If we put you in a hotel, it's going to take a couple of hours to do that. Did you hear what I was saying down there? No. They're bringing a part over which they think will rectify it. They've got to test that. And, and that's um, coming from Australia? Or no, no, it's coming from the British Airways Engineering Base. They had to locate what the, uh, what the problem was. Less than a mile away, the Qantas flight is still grounded. But there's been a breakthrough. OK, I've just delivered the part, they're just fitting it now, so I'm just going to talk to the crew. Thanks, Derek. 
the command. The captain Skip us upstairs, talking to the passengers. We've got the transmitter. Okay. Sounds like good news. Right. While the part's being fitted, boarding procedures can at last commence. Special announcement for passengers travelling on Qantas Flight 002. We will commence boarding within the next 15 minutes. <laughs> at gate 4, the mood has lifted, as at last the passengers know they'll soon be boarding. But outside, there's concern amongst the engineers. Okay, oh, well, it's a bit unfortunate because we've already said we hope to commence boarding shortly. Fingers crossed, we said we'd be boarding about quarter past, so hopefully they'll be able to rectify it by then. I can't say at the moment. I need to speak to you. Right, okay. <laughs> Um, well, they've put the part in. Yes. Okay. Put the part in. Right. And a status message has come up on the computer screen. Right, okay. And we don't know whether it's the same status message or not. Right, okay. But there is a message on the screen. So well, well, we'll keep that keep to Keep it quiet for a few minutes. Until quarter past. Yeah. Gives us another ten minutes. The passengers are unaware that they might not be flying after all. <laughs> the spare part's in place but the faults recurred. The troubleshooting manual indicates a failure in the wiring. Back at the gate, the passengers have no idea their long-awaited trip is again on hold. The engineers have made their decision. We can't fix it, okay? So we're gonna have to overnight everybody. <coughs> Passengers travelling on flight QF002 to Bangkok and Sydney. We regret to advise that we have been unable to rectify the technical problem. We will be accommodating you in hotels overnight and the flight will now depart tomorrow. Once again, we would like to extend our apologies. It's cancelled, it sucks. This is terrible. We're coming from Sweden and we have been waiting for four hours before we know. But we've just this second managed to get buses for them. Yeah, OK, good idea. All right then, OK. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye, bye. All right, no, they'll tell you what time they're picking you up. OK, so just go downstairs. Collect. Everyone's looking a bit dejected now. I think they feel like... Uh, I feel like I feel. 